Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back! I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache food on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Hey! When's this shit bucket station going to repair its damn radiators? This armor doesn't breathe. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Well, mostly. For the following story. I think everything in here is worth more than I made in my whole life. To defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? It must have been lost with Alex then. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me, how did he die? Oh, awful business that. But why, how? No, no, best not to ask after the gory details. Right, right, you're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Be my guest. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Best to be clear, I believe. 
I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. I send a lot of messages. Sometimes I read them. Every once in a while I'll impound a ship if I want to feel alive. Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. Please, go ahead. Ugh. Law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can... A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Ask away. Someone's coming. Hey. Yep. What do you think you're doing? Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? doing I don't have time for this what do you think you're doing carry on Understood. I'll keep my head down. Shh, someone's there. What do you think you're doing? Just don't make any trouble for me, okay?
I was wondering what they do with their waste. I guess they just chuck it down here. Where's it all go? I stay up top. You know, keep watch. Okay? They come. No one saw me trip over that, right?
Please hurry. The toilets overflowed on me at least twice. Thank you, stranger. Shit, ain't that a relief. You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. Ugh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I haven't clocked out in days. Song is gonna have my ass for wage theft. What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. Well, actually two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. Suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. Who wants to play an impromptu tossball match? No one? Really? Halcyon News. We interrupt... Irregularly scheduled advertisement for the Far East Zone. Ford rep's office used to be in the docking base. Yeah, about ten years back.
return. In one piece, Captain. Hey, be careful with those... Rizzo's purple berry fudge, a soft flower candy shop around the Well, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. Heard of it? My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. That's true. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, Spear. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. I can see all of the top-quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog which is available here at a reasonable price. Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a Groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon Colony. Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar Eclipse Mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. Add an additional 10% to your purchase today, and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school, only to make him wear this hat. Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is spearmint. I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. Anything and everything. Whatever you want, we got it. And when you need a replacement, we got that too. Just the opposite. Spacer's Choice items are always new. 
hot off the shelves, because customers just can't stop buying new stuff. Oh, sorry. I've got the line wrong. Y you want me to do it again? It's a script. If I don't follow it to a T, I might lose my job. You want me to do it right? Okay, customer's always right. Thanks, moving on. You could go broke buying overpriced Aramid gear, or you could buy from us at a much more reasonable rate. That's why you should get a backup for three. Become a frequent buyer. Join our Friendship Rewards program. Program currently unapproved in Alpha, Rewards and Friendship pending. Uh, have a look. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. She helped me win a bet. We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. Moral is, mantisaurs can't run when they're full of holes. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew.
What can I do for you? Need some Adreno? It's good for you. Spacer's promise. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, excellent. Yeah, that was intentional. As the face of Spacer's choice, it's my honor to be a public figure. Who needs privacy when you have job security? Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Vinnie Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Have you seen this man? Reward offered. RT greeting. Potential Gus Fetus unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such assertion. Shock simulation non-functional. A trouble ticket has been filed. Shock simulation restored. Initiating shock subroutine. How dare you? Shock subroutine complete. Estimated guilt level of customer increased by 35%. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Everything I sell is fresh from the forge. Technically the metal formed billions of years ago, but it's freshly in the shape. Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. Not from around here, are you? After leaving Earth, you worked a local gas giant from a floating refinery. Dangerous work. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom.
If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? You know what Sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terror fry them in their own juices. Terror frying is a Spacer's Choice brand secret, a mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. Absolutely not. Spratwurst and all related terms are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar, the other meat, is a registered trademark of CMP. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. Just as well, near long as you don't mind me grinding Spratwurst while we talk. Little things don't make themselves chewy, at least not yet. I'm sure modern science will find a way just as well. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. I'm going. Some condiments are not for use with some meals. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. This unit would clarify. There is a dent mechanic in the kitchen. User error in the maintenance of this unit's cutlery engaged several systems at once. The slicer, the grinder, the tenderizer. This unit behaves precisely as it was engineered. Neither this unit nor its corporate proprietor claim any responsibility for the mess. This unit is not designated for cleaning duties and cannot be compelled to accept another unit's responsibilities. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial proteins. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists beneath Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. This is Hotter than usual in here. Hope we're not catching June Lay on a bad day. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Township from the Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. At ease. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer's just passing through. Statistics don't lie. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Dr. Fenhill, I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full-time. 
My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an auto mech heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. They're risky, but the odds are still a little better than waiting for certain death. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenhill is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual... Real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled ad. Have either of the assault cruisers? Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. 
The Mardette's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed, just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is, not the criminal. <sighs> Allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. Spilled Rizzo's violet spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than green spectrum. Kicked one right in the kneecap while he poked the other in the eyes. McRed's lucky we're too backlogged right now to hunt him down ourselves. But if our resources clear up and we catch him before some contractor does, I fully plan to lock him in ISO with them two officers he wounded, thinking he won't like that one bit. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, <sighs> that's how you know your weapon loves you back. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. All the better for performing a little percussive maintenance. Self-improvement, including one's weapons, is always a worthy endeavor. Take your basic Deadeye assault rifle. Perfectly serviceable. What if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barrel heat sink to bump up rate of fire. Uh, no and yes. When you install something, it pops in there real nice, but if you want to replace it, the originals tend to snap like plastic toys. So, what can I get you? Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information needed to the capture of Jordan Torres, Phineas Wells. Itching to whack someone over the head? We can help with that. A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. No! 
I'll smite you in the name of the law. Expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this, right, Pete? Time to feed. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? Uh, speaking for myself, Captain. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room. Here the Sometimes violence is the only way! is going to be pleased as pie when we show her these. I guess I'm honored. What was that? Oh, good.
Be right there. Smells kind of like old Bess's outflow pipes. Fantastic, we've got them. Now we can move on to cleaner pastures. doing do what you want I guess I huh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived not sure how long ago that was McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Ah, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but... You know how it is, you meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam! I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Nice.
You should give our... Don't take my... Have a look. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular... You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. <laughs>